This is Zach from Jimico Marine, and today we're on board a uh, Lazar craft, and we're going to do a smart boat installation utilizing the existing sensors that were found on the ISIS system. And the ISIS system is a monitoring system that is installed from the factory. Uh, so really it's a straightforward process. Uh, we find the wires of the ISIS and we determine what those values of those sensors are. And with a little bit of internet digging, we're able to find that information. So we've got some manuals and we're gonna take that data and we're gonna go into the smart boat software and make those, uh, make those changes. Right, so really, we've already found the connections and we've pre-wired the terminals. Plug the terminals into the box and then plug it into NEMA 2000. Once we make the connection to NEMA 2000, you'll notice the power light's gonna pop on. If I can get the plug started. So we've got it plugged in, power light comes up. Once it gets through the boot process, the status light's gonna turn green. Uh, these other lights won't turn on until we actually finish the programming, which we're gonna do here in a minute. Uh, so for now, it's actually, it's ready to go. Power's on and let's move to programming. So we've got everything connected. We've got the laptop connected and, uh, well, the laptop's online. So we're gonna go through the connection process and just give you a quick overview of how the process is done for programming. With me today is Casey. So Casey's also from Jimico Marine and uh, he's gonna be doing the programming for us. So the first step, the, uh, the smart boat's online. So we're gonna open up our internet connection and find the module we're dealing with and then connect to it. So it's an open connection. And once it has connected, we'll plug in the IP address, which is uh, the default IP address is 192.168.2.1. And there's our homepage. So now we'll go through and just do the programming for the sensors, uh, get everything tied online, and then we'll go upstairs and see the result. We're on the bridge of the Lazara and we finished installing the ASMs down below. We've got them programmed and they are talking on the network. Uh, so one of the biggest things the customer wanted to accomplish with using the ASM was to tie in engine data as well as tank data. So we're gonna look at their SIMRAD MFDs and kind of walk through the process and then show the end result. So first thing you do, you hit the, sen you hit the uh, settings key and you go to network and we're gonna look at the sources. So the sources, obviously tank data is not there, we hit advanced. So now we have the sensors that we programmed are listed right in the drop down. So fuel level, ASM, because it's you know the only uh, function of fuel on the boat, it's the only option to select. So it's already pre-selected. So we'll go through and we'll do the remaining tanks, which we've already done, and go back, tank data. So now the customer has a very straightforward, detailed representation of how much fuel, gray water, and fresh water are on the boat. 